Before starting to spray the Rust-Oleum, we did one final vacuum of the entire van to make sure all of the loose debris was removed. Having proper ventilation and wearing a mask when spraying the Rust-Oleum is really, really important. Take the breaks that you need to get some fresh air, otherwise you might start to feel a little bit lightheaded. Uh, today we are putting the sound deadener on the floor because the rustoleum is now dry. At least we hope it is. It, do it doesn't feel wet, so I think we're good. And then we can put our subfloor that we cut out on Sunday back on, and then we can uh, start to actually floor with the laminate. And that is all the layers that are going on the floor, which means once we finish that, the floor will be finito. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it is, which is not surprising. But the way that the sound deadener works, at least the one that we got, it looks like this, and it's um, adhesive on the back, which is kind of nice. Don't have to deal with like any sprays, like sticking sprays or anything. But the only shitty thing is if you look at the floor of the van where we've sprayed the Rust-Oleum, it has divots. And the sound deadener has to go in and out of these divots. So you can see we did the first piece down here and you're supposed to have a tool that looks something like this except it should be like a single one that's smaller. Yeah, we don't have that tool and we're not buying it just for this. So for right now we're using the bottom of a screwdriver for the inside divots and then this like three pronged roller for the top divots. And we gotta put this in the whole back of the van here. So this is going to be my afternoon. So day seven today, the plans are to finish putting the sound deadener on the floor. We can then put the subfloor on, the quarter inch plywood. Um, and then we have to make a decision on if we're going to floor today, finish the walls, or potentially cut the hole in the roof to put the fan in. All right, sound deadener is officially done. It's on the wheel wells, on the floor, and this means that we can now put the subfloor in. 